Tutorial time! Alright, hey everyone, welcome back again. Um, this is actually my third or fourth attempt to do a sort of a tutorial for my customization. And before I continue, I just want to say that this sort of tutorial or this technique can be used for Gundams as well. So if you're a Gundam model kit, modeler, customizer, whatever you want to call it, this is actually very effective for it. And I already did this video, but halfway through the video, I noticed that this thing was so dark. I guess it was because of the angle of the camera that I just wasn't really picking up anything. So to start things off, let me just get straight to the point. Um, this over here without the black piece that you're looking at right now to the top is supposedly supposed to be the top part or the main missile pod of the next CAS that I'm currently working on. Aside the fact that I'm already working on the Nova CAS. So just try to bear with me here. I'm trying to get all the stuff done. You know, because I got some other plans coming in. And what this is going to be is um, over here you have um, a block zoid part. All right. And this was actually one of these, the, the meso ledge or muscle ledge. I forgot the name of it, that it has a fin coming out here. I cut that off with the Dremel and I took advantage of the ball joint over here and the flat side which I haven't really sanded out perfectly yet but just to give myself an idea and using the full armor double zeta Gundam cannons that's gonna go somewhere around here on both sides so that's that but we're not really focusing on that my main focus of this video is actually to sort of customize this um, center portion here because this is actually the uh, a zoid part from another zoid block so I forget the name of it, it starts with an e, a U and its original color is blue and I did use this on an older custom but I went ahead and took it apart and decided to use this so instead of this being a cockpit um, I'm gonna try and um, modify it slightly just to um, make it look more of a missile pod versus just having a cockpit so I'm gonna of course add a plastic piece in there a flat layer and then do the little animal eyes like I did with the Genosaur Hades CAS you can always look back in that and I did give out some pointers to actually give you an uh, give you all an idea of what's going on or how I did it. So the first thing to start modifying this armor, what I did was place this plastic piece and you can always find a lot of things out there in stores that's non-model kit. For example, like this plastic tie over here, those that you just pull in and you, you know, to give it a good tie. I purchased some of these again because I was using them before and I kind of ran out. And um, this piece over here is actually the end part of it which I already cut out and you really don't need any of those serious tools and whatnot I mean it's always good to have them because they're more effective but since I started modeling I have never and I repeat never went online to purchase any tools for model kits or anything whatnot this over here I've been using these um, nail clippers um, for sanding you can always use these nail files filers or whatever you want to call them. Um, I've just been purchasing them one by one. Or you can also have sandpaper or go all out and you know purchase tools or whatever. It's up to you but it's more cheaper for me here. Uh, of course I have my Dremel tool. That is the only tool that I've purchased as in tools to use but that was not online. And also thanks to a friend who have uh, bought me one too. And I'm going to do a review on that tool because I think it's really important to give you all an idea of how effective this tool is. So with that said, um, we're going to go ahead and try and modify this armor with just single use of these um, ties. So as you can see, I already applied the first part here and it's already looking different. I wish I had another one. I think I do. I just have to find it. I don't even know where it is because I have parts like in boxes all over this house. Now the next thing I did, um, I wanted to give this thing some thrusters to the back, but within my collection of parts... Um, there was boosters that could have fit in there perfectly, but I really didn't want to use them because after this this CAS right now, the third one for this Liger, that's it for that Liger. And I'm going to start on the HMM Liger, which should be coming in soon. And we're going to be going like all out with that CAS. And I have also have um, projects that I haven't really announced yet. So we want to get some thrusters inside here. And here we go again with this thing getting dark. Let me just back out a little bit. So to the back here and... As I said, I just took the nail clipper and I sort of cut the side from the lines inside. And where's that little piece? Oh, come on, don't do this to me, man. And right over here, I managed to cut off one little piece. And these actually already look like thrusters. There's um, the Kotobukiya, um parts that you can buy them separately. And there were about seven or eight bucks for it online. I'm like, why should I even bother spend eight dollars on that when I can go ahead and just 
customize my own, which is actually way better. They look almost like thrusters that you would find on, you know, Gundams or whatnot. So you just want to take the nail clipper. I can't really see from this. But um, you want to just try to clip off the edges. And because this is a tutorial, it's kind of hard for me to just give it perfect, perfect edges. But that's perfectly fine. Believe me, after it's painted, you will like barely even notice the difference. Okay. So that's going to go to the back. And um, the Gorilla Glue Super Glue is actually way better than that of Crazy Glue because it's more stronger. All right, you don't really have to put so much. Just be nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. And you just simply apply it. Don't worry if the glue gets all messed up. You can always sand it off. After a while, it gets really hard, the glue. And if there's anything that's sticking out too much, you can always go back in and, like I said, you can take a sharp razor blade and kind of slice them off before you paint them or sand off any excessive parts. So, we already have, um, you see it's getting dark again. It was so bright a while ago. You see the thrusters to the back? So that's some modification going on right now. Now the next thing you can do is <clears throat> continue to cut off more of these parts, but I'm not gonna go into all of that. This is just to give you an idea. A next set of plastic pieces that I've been using, and this is not really going to cost you. It depends on where you get it from. This is actually a collection of keyboard keys and their um, little clips that hold on to the keyboard keys. So if you ever have a friend that's about to throw away a, a laptop or anything, or a person who works with computers, and you see that they're throwing away parts, make sure you check them out because there's a lot of things in there that you can find to use for your Zoids. Believe me on that. You are missing out. So with that said, um, over here we have one of the keyboard key clips. And what I usually do, this is um, a different kind though, this is not the usual one that I do, is kind of go ahead and clip off all the ends. And we're actually going to use these ends. So it gets really small and micro in here because the parts are really small. So and there we go, that piece just flew out. And I just want to try to add some frames on this thing so we can um, let's see where this can go maybe to the top here and you have the little tiny pegs sticking out already so that just adds more fun to it and just make sure you put it in an area where it's not in the way. So we wanna, I want to move this back a little bit because I just opened it up and... Maybe I, would, I don't want to put it there. Maybe putting it to the side would be better. And there's already a lot of details on this thing. See, even here to the front, you can put them to the front. So it's just a matter of cutting out the right size whatever um of course animal eyes those little tiny black animal eyes like half spheres you can find them in craft stores arts and craft stores i've been using those you can just glue them around to um act as tiny little bolts they're really 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 effective you know especially when you paint it and then after that you take the little gold or silver paint marker whatever you want to use and apply those details it comes out really nice um, another thing, here's our next set of keyboard keys over here. Um, if you cut out the white parts, they will look like tiny little vents. So maybe I can put those to the back. So let's just, you can always use the black ones that I cut off, but it's kind of hard to do it now. Here, I'm just going to chop this off. And I'll show you an armor part that I did earlier today. So you can just always put a little bit of glue first. Clip 
this in off. If you're hearing music in the background, today is actually election day. So this video was recorded on the uh, the 4th of November. Yeah, I get really quiet when it's time to do these customs. So while I'm not too perfectly applied, and really and truly, even if I don't get all this good on camera, the, the point is I'm trying to say here is that there is a lot of things in your house, and I mean a lot of things in your house that can work as model kit parts. And if you always take the time to look my at my videos for my customizing, my CES and all that stuff, you will actually quickly notice that there is a lot of non-model kit parts that I've been using, especially plastic cards and, and plastic clips. You see how this looks already? You see how these little tiny thrusters in there look like? So that's basically what I was trying to get at from the start. So you got some thrusters here already, and then you got that little armor piece that I added earlier. And of course, I can always go back in and add these little black pieces that I cut maybe to the side and throw in a few of those little bolts. You can also use hole punchers, you know, those to punch that metal thing that punches holes into paper. There's the stronger ones that actually punch into plastic, such as the plastic cards over here, like you see. You can punch a hole in that. And then there's these sheets. So, yeah. And um, this over here is a... I started working on this, but then I wasn't so sure if I should continue or not. So this is what I had at first, you know, with the plastic card from the inside for the CAS armor. And then I got your metal strips to connect to the magnets. And then there's another plastic layer over here because another part's going to go here. It's going to have two types of funnels on this thing. But this is the opposite side, and I'm not even done modifying this armor. And look at what I've done so far. The only thing here is this is a full armor double zeta Gundam thruster part. But I just glued that on there. So you can see here, you got your little armor frames over here. You got one little thruster, just like how I put it on the main pack. So it's really a lot of things that you can do. You can use, never ignore them. Just pay attention, think what this could possibly be. And that's what I've been doing all these years. And, you know, the more the more you look at things, the more you try to use them in different ways, you start to see that you can actually become really creative because just like this armor over here, this... After painting this, a lot of people will not really notice that this is a clip for the clothing clip, right? Or hair clips, I think. That's what they are. And it already looks like a very nice dynamic looking armor piece just with that added on, which is quite incredible, to be honest. I amaze myself. I know to others who are professionals out there, they'll probably be like, yeah, that's nothing. But it is actually something when you can do something like that right from the start. So, peace to out. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you found this video useful. Ask me questions, I will gladly help you out once I have the time.